Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval and this is the Solo Negocios video blog with the summary of the Solo Negocios bulletin for July the 5th, 2018. The markets react after the holiday in the US and which made volume traded worldwide lesser than regularly. Uh, the Mexican peso got appreciated. The Bloomberg dollar spot index went down again now for a very few uh, percentage points, 0 0.07. Uh, the Fed minutes were published today. Uh, well, highlights include good performance of the economy, but warns about the negative of commercial war, the trade war. Now, there's a deal here. Uh, they are discussing, or they discussed in the previous meeting, the probability of having a recession. And they say basically that this could occur if this trade war escalates. Right now, they believe the economy is solid and with a good goal of inflation who or which will last for the midterm. And they are asking how many more increases in the Fed rate should occur in order to take the economy to a solid long term. Well, basically, the potential answer is will be at least one more during this year and overview how the oil reacts and how this trade war reacts so they can talk about the following years taking to normalization these rates. Even they discussed the possibility to eliminate the, the word accommod accommodative in the bulletin press that they issue regularly after their meetings. In USA, private employment reached 177,000 uh, persons in June, less than the 190,000 expected. Requests for unemployment were 231,000 for June 30th, where it was uh, the previous uh, data, 227,000. ISM for services, the PMI, 59.1 points, a uh, little bit over what was estimated. And Banjico Menuts expo exposed the possibility of a new hike soon, of which risks are important, NAFTA, uh, trade war, and also the exchange rate along inflation. Uh, Mr. Lopez Obrador, his uh, conciliatory position with businessmen is well taken, so basically there's not a great deal of concern with there, and it's helping this uh, indicator. Oil went down, given an attack from Trump, Trump, Donald Trump, who made a tweet to order basically the OPEC members to look for lower prices. And actually, Saudi Arabia reacted lowering their prices for August, and this is kind of um, bothering for the rest of members of OPEC, but willingly to stabilize the equilibrium. And in this complex situation with Libya, Nigeria, with its own problems, cutting production, Canada, which is with a problem with this uh, oil pipe, also the sanctions against Iran and Venezuela. Uh, well, all of that, of that situation in a mix uh, takes this specific market to a very volatile situation. The spread in Mexico in banks 1.7, 1.10 cents, and it was uh, same as yesterday. Futures went down for December 2018, and it shows an improvement. Therefore, it's important to say about the linear trend, which is basically also depreciating, but showing at least for the interbank exchange, uh, I don't know, three weeks of decrease, but the, still the line is it's upwards. And the um, bank, the bank Hicos fix, the Juarez dollar exchange rate and the banking exchange rate is going down, is going for appreciation given the continuous appreciation in the last three weeks. Basically, this is the strong issues here. The minutes uh, show an important advance in this data. Uh, well, we'll see what happens in the following days regarding uh, more information of the whole economy that would take into account by the central banks to make decisions and then they will be the ones strong for the volatile set. Right now, specifically tomorrow, we have the decision of the United States to initiate second round of tariffs against China and well, potentially there will be retaliation. And also, although there is uh, some positions from US representatives that maybe they won't put tariffs on autos, the investigation is still going on and potentially it could happen 
in, a, in, a, in the following weeks a result and bring the position of the United States to install those, those tariffs or not. It will all depend on that investigation and the decision of Mr. Trump and his volatility uh, structure of decisions. Thank you very, very much for your, for your attention. We'll be here tomorrow. Thank you.